everybody, how's it going? My name is Miss Haley from Code Speak Labs and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Well, the holidays are coming up and Christmas is just around the corner and I believe that means that it is time for a lot of gifts and a lot of holiday cards from families, friends, and neighbors. So with that being said, today I'm going to show you how to make your own digital animated holiday card that you can send to anyone, anywhere in the world. You ready to come along? Let's go! All right, let's get coding. So I have a brand new Scratch project open here, and the first things first, we're going to get rid of Scratchy the cat. We don't really need him for today's project, so we can just click the garbage can. All right, but what you will need today are two different backdrops. So what we're creating today in Scratch is a holiday card that displays one, a greeting message, and then a different scenery. So, first I think I might choose the blue sky. And then for my second backdrop, let's choose something holiday themed, shall we? So, I'm going to pick winter. Awesome. And we're actually going to start off with our first backdrop. And let's drag a few blocks in here to start. So we're going to drag one green flag clicked. And we're going to go to looks and we're going to switch our backdrop to this blue sky. And then the next thing we're going to drag in, we're going to drag in when stage clicked. So you'll see what's going to happen here in a second. But we are going to basically create our holiday card on this backdrop. And when a user clicks on it, we're going to switch it to the second backdrop. But we'll get to that in a minute later. So we're going to do when stage clicked and let's go to looks. And we're going to drag switch backdrop to winter. And we're going to need one more block, a very important block. And we can find this in our event section. It is called Broadcast Message 1. And then let's call this Holiday. Awesome. Perfect. So let's test this out. I click the green flag. I click the stage. It's winter. Awesome. So let's go back to our backdrop. And why don't we add a holiday message? So I'm going to grab my text button and we'll say, whoops. Happy holidays from Code Speak Labs. And let's do a little bit of design editing here. So I'm going to highlight my text and I'm going to make it red, very festive. And let's also change our, let's also change our font. I'm thinking marker. Awesome. And we'll expand this. And then let's put one more text. We'll say, click anywhere. Perfect. And I think our card can use a little bit of color. So why don't we add some sprites in here? And I'm going to grab a few different sprites. So let's see. Let's see what's holiday-ish. All right, I like the gifts. Let's add a few more gifts. You can never have enough gifts for Christmas. All 
All right, so you can take your time to figure out what else you would like to add to your card. All right, so now we're on our second backdrop and let's add a few more sprites to this. Oh. Let's grab our reindeer. And we're gonna size them up a little bit. Let's change them to 150, there we go. Perfect. But we only want our reindeer sprite to show when the backdrop is switched. So we're gonna have to do a little editing here. So we're going to drag a block called when I receive message. All right, so we are going to change the broadcast message to holiday, which was sent by our first backdrop. So what's gonna happen is when the reindeer receives the holiday message, he's going to appear on the screen. And we can do this by going into looks and dragging our show block. And when we start our holiday card program, we want him to be hidden. So we will hide him when the green flag is clicked. So let's see what happens. I click the green flag. Happy holiday from Codespeak Labs. Click anywhere. And here he appears. Perfect. So let's do a little bit of animation now, shall we? Let's go to GIFs and we're going to drag our receive block once again when I receive holiday. And let's add some animation into it. So here's what I can do. I can again go to looks and I can add some color effect. So change color effect by 25. And why don't we also add this to our second GIF sprite. Awesome. And we can also add some motion to our card. So we'll do turn 15 degrees. And then for our second gift, why don't we add in a repeat block in the control section? And let's change its size. So we'll go into looks. We'll say change size by 10. We'll wait a second. And then we'll change it back by negative 10. We can also change the numbers in our blocks too. So let's see what happens if we make this one 50. All right, let's click the green flag. Happy holidays from Codespeak Labs. And I click the screen. Here we go. We see it's pulsing. Uh-oh, my gift turned, but I forgot to add my forever block. See how it just turned once and didn't do it again? So let's add a forever block in there and see what happens now. Click the green flag. There we go. Awesome. Very nice. And then let's have our reindeer say something as well. So once again, we'll grab our repeat block or we'll grab our receive block when I receive holiday. We'll say happy holidays. Spread the cheer. And we can also add some sound to our card. So we'll do play, sound, pop until done. And if you don't want to use the sound pop, which I actually don't think I will, we can go to our sounds tab and we'll go to the bottom left hand corner and click choose a sound. And we have all different kinds of sounds we can use here. So let's see effects. Maybe let's do loops.
think I like Xylo too. Perfect, and then we'll go back to our code and we'll click Xylo too. So let's see what we have here. I click the green flag, happy holidays. Uh-oh, my gift is turned the wrong way. So we're gonna need to fix that. Let's go back to gift and we'll say when green flag clicked, point in direction. Put a motion. Point in direction 90. There we go. All right, happy holidays from Codespeak Labs. Click anywhere. Happy holidays. Spread the cheer. All right, so this is just a basic, simple holiday card that you can make on Scratch, but there's so many other things that you can add to this. So feel free to input your own creativity, add a bunch of different sprites, um, add some more gifts if you want. You can add different sort of text and colors and, and motion to to this card and you can add as many backdrop switches as you would like. So feel free to play around with this project, but I hope you enjoyed um, learning how to make just a basic holiday card. All right, folks, that's all we have planned for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's holiday themed scratch project. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. And from all of us at Code Speak Labs, we wish you happy holidays. This is Coach Haley, along and off. See you next time, or next year.